Uh, so, I am an accountant, for real. I know you look at me as a construction worker. <laughs> I've done a lot. Hey, that's all right. This doesn't work out. i got a future in film. Harry Potter, The Golden Years. <laughs> I'm thinking the search for the sorcerer's kidney stone by the time they're in. For me, yeah. But it's good to be here. And, uh, you know, I, I do have, I, I did news though, I've actually embezzled enough money now to be able to do comedy full time. So I've given up accounting. I've re actually officially retired from accounting. Give me a hand. I can try it. I've retired for six months. My wife is already sick of me. She's leaving little help one to dance around the house. I stole one the other day. I'm like, this job's in Saudi Arabia. It says I'll be gone for six months. She's like, oh, only six months? We'll keep looking. And now that I'm home, for some reason, she thinks I'm handy all of a sudden. She's like, oh, you're home today? You can fix that door. You can paint that door. I couldn't do shit before. What makes you think I can do it now? I'm not handy. I don't know anything about tools. For years, I thought Paul P. Hammer was MC Hammer's brother. I don't know. Somebody asked me for a Phillips screwdriver. I'm giving him a drink with vodka and milk and magnesia. I don't know shit. Uh, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, I am retired. And uh, recently, I, I turned. I, I watch. I've been watching way too much daytime television. It's a very dangerous thing to do when you're retired, watching daytime TV. Uh, I dis discovered recently that uh, I have mesothelioma. <laughs> I have asbestos. I'm training to be a medical villain. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> and in the case of Shanika Malia Jackson, I am the father. I had another big year last year. I turned 60 last year. 60. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 60 is officially the age when older people stop saying you're still young. Because when I was 45, I was complaining, I'm 45. And they say, oh, you're still young. I'm 52. Oh, you're such a young man. I'm 60. Denny's has an early bird special, and here's some coupons for the Red Rocks. <laughs> Bring you into the club. I don't mind being 60, it's not so bad. I pee a lot though, I do pee a lot. I'm either peeing or I feel like I gotta pee. One of the two. Last week I felt like I had to pee while I was peeing. What the hell is that? It's like, a little more, a little more. What? Ah, screw it, I'll just leave the rest in my underwear. Let's go. If I'm out in public and I see a bathroom, it's like when a woman sees shoes at a shoe store window. I'm walking by, I'm like, oh, bathroom. And I go because you don't know when you're going to see another bathroom, right? I, if I see a good bathroom, I'm going, whether I have to go or not. Because I'm not going to use a porta potty. I did that once. I used one of those porta potties. I still can't get that vision out of my head. I should have knocked first, that's all I'm saying. I know it's disgusting. I am married, I'm doing uh, 36 years this year, folks. 36 years ago, thanks. Why do you clap? If I was doing 36 years in prison, you wouldn't clap. I shouldn't compare marriage to prison. It's not that good. Not that good. <laughs> I'm only kidding. We're trying to work it out. We're doing date night. You ever do that? It's date night. It's date night. Yeah, I don't like the guy she's dating. <laughs> An asshole. I think he's my neighbor. That's why I don't like him. Maybe that's why his car's always parked in front of my house. <laughs> yeah. So I'm 60 now. I'm going to a lot of doctors. I'm going to a lot of doctors. I went to the cardiologist. The urologist, the paleontologist, <laughs> and all these doctors. I went to the ophthalmologist for eyes, because my eyes are bad. And the guy says to me, all right, we got you down to 2030. I'm like, what happened to 2020? I said, eh, at your age, it's not going to happen. What, at some point they give up on you? I'm going to go in the air, I broke my leg. Ah, just walk it off. All right. But he gives me these glasses. They're like, they're like progressive lenses. 
They're like, they're not progressive because they voted for Bernie Sanders in the last election. They're like, they're levels. So I, I can't see anything. So one the other day I'm at an auction and I'm looking at my phone like this, at an auction. I bought three paintings for $85,000. <laughs> now I gotta take that job in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, crazy stuff. And now she wants to do things all the time. You know, she always wants to do stuff. She wants to like uh, go on a cruise. And I don't know, I've never been on a cruise. I'm afraid of a cruise. And people always say, oh, you don't feel the boat. But that doesn't matter to me because I know I'm on the boat. And all I'd be thinking is, this boat's going down. And this is gonna be me in the water, right? All the sharks come. <laughs> to be honest with you folks, I would rather die in a plane crash than a boat going down. Because here's my theory, here's my theory, hear me out. Plane crash, one of two things happen. Either splat, you're dead, or you walk away, right? <laughs> Nobody's in the hospital with a broken arm with a plane crash, right? Either splat, they're dead, or they're like, yeah, half a coffee latte grande, I was just in a plane crash. I'm good. <laughs> Proof of that, Sully Sullenberger. Remember that guy, right? Yeah. Sully Sullenberger landed on the Hudson freaking river. Everybody lived. Right? Amazing! Amazing! But the thing I remember most is when they showed pictures of it, there was one guy on the wing of the plane with his luggage. <laughs> right? So think about only in New York is this happening, right? The plane's going down. Brace for impact. Oxygen mask dropping. People screaming. Ah! And one guy, where's my bag? Where's my bag? Where's my bag? There it is. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Only in New York. Uh, so I hate the news. The news is depressing. Don't you hate the news? Yes. That's why I watch Channel 12 news. <laughs> I'm like News 12 fans. You could have been a News 12. Where else can you get an in-depth interview with Stanley Spadowski of Spion <laughs> about the new tractor report for his duck farm? <laughs> Only on News 12. And don't worry, if you miss it, an hour later, <laughs> it's on all freaking weekend when I watch it. <laughs> I'm like, look, Doug Keen is caught in the corn maze again. He's never getting out. I like the local commercials on News 12. You ever see the one where the lady's at the mailbox and the neighbor comes over and says, I'm sorry about your mom. And she says, yeah. Oh, look, the check's here. Shouldn't it be like another three seconds of grieving before, you, look, mom dropped dead, we got the check the same day. Woo! You know what's a good age? I realize the good age, I'm 60 now. I think 80 is a good age. 80, you know what 80 is? 80 is the little old lady in the supermarket with her shopping cart blocking the aisle, right? And I know she hears me when I'm saying, excuse me, excuse me, and she's over there going, fuck you, I'm 80, you're going to fuck me. It's 80, yeah. My mother-in-law recently turned 80, and my wife said, you know, she's 80, she lives alone, maybe we should get her one of those life alerts, you know, I've fallen and I can't get up, the life alerts. So we got it for her, and I'm paying for it, okay? It's $35 a month, the life of her. She's had it for 15 months. The bitch hasn't fallen once, none. <laughs> I'm getting ripped off. I'm thinking I'm gonna go over there and throw some marbles on the floor, something. You know what, screw it, you know what I'm gonna do? Forget the life alert. I'm gonna put the garage door open around the neck. <laughs> And I tell the neighbor across the street, listen, if the garage door opens, call 911. And I don't know if you're laughing because you think it's funny or it's a good idea, but either way, I'm saving 35 dollars a month. And I'm not, I'm, I'm joking, but I'm not a cheap person. I'm very generous with my money. I really don't care about money. But there's one thing that's going on in Suffolk County that's got me totally pissed off. I'm talking about paying five cents for a goddamn band. Super hard. Fuck that. I'm so pissed about it. And I've developed the art of stuffing 10 pounds worth of shit in a five cent bag. And then 
that, I go out with no bag. Remember you go out east and you carry all those pumpkins? That's me. I'm carrying milk and bread and eggs, salad dressing on the head. I ain't giving you a nickel, fuck you! <laughs> And it's only in Suffolk, it's not in Nassau yet. So you know what I do? Screw them. I shop at exit 48. I go to Nassau. And if I got 12 items, I say, yeah, I'm going to need a bag for every fucking item. <laughs> then I go home, I use the bag for garbage, empty it out, and bring it to the store in Suffolk. Last week, the girl's like, there's a banana peel in your bag. Shut up, put the bread in the bag. I don't give a shit. I'm not buying it. The last time I bought a nickel bag was outside the Palladium in 1972. <laughs> 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 you guys are great. Um, so another thing my wife always wants to do is go to the beach. She wants to... I know Long Island has beautiful beaches. We brag about our beaches. Let me tell you something, folks. I hate the beach. I hate the whole thing. The whole experience from beginning to end. And I'll tell you why, it's always the same. She's always like, oh, we're gonna go to the beach. Oh, all right, we're going to the beach. All right, let me grab the umbrella. Let me grab the, let me grab the table. Let me grab the chairs and the pub. All right, we're gonna pull a shit in the car. All right, we're gonna drive. 15 minute ride takes two hours of traffic. We get to the beach. How much is parking? $37? And hey, God, no problem. Park, park two miles away. Now we gotta carry all this shit from the, over valleys and mountains and rivers and, and then we finally go through that tunnel. Uh, 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 the tunnel. Uh, uh, oh, I was looking at the tunnel. Uh, uh. And then we get to the sand and it's hot. Oh shit, the sand is hot. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Oh, shit. Uh, and we finally get to the beach. It's like, okay, we're here. She says, why don't you go in the water? Go in the water? The water's a freaking sewer. Why do you want to go in the water? The water doesn't even want you in the water. That's why when you go in, it pushes you to fuck in the fuck out. <laughs> but I go in the water and I'm swimming this way and I'm swimming that way and I'm swimming this way. I get out of the water. I don't wear my glasses in the water. I look around. I don't see my wife anywhere. <laughs> no, all I see is a hundred people that look better than me. So I gotta walk like two miles. I can't find her. Finally, I find her like, oh, there you are. I've been looking for this. I'm hot. Let's go home. All right, let's go. Back to the beach. Uh, 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 uh. Back to the tunnel, to the river, to the valley. Get back in the car. Drive home. Sand in my shoes. Sand in my balls. Fuck you. You go to the beach. I'm Stevie Jeevy. Thank you very much. <laughs>